everyone. We're getting started in a minute here. We're gonna get our workout on. Hopefully some of you guys are joining in, getting ready. Um, if you're wondering, you don't need anything but you, your body, a water bottle. Perhaps you grab some now foods, effervescent tabs to keep that hydration really, really strong. Keep you energized for your workout. Hello, hello. Hi, my friends who are joining um, us live. It's so good to see you. Um, I was just giving my little spiels, but I'm Jamie. Welcome. Um, I'm at Flex and Flow, and we are here with Now Foods, bringing you this really fun, energy-packed January workout. It's a body weight boot camp, which means you don't need any equipment other than your body. That's the best part. And if you want, I'm popping um, these wonderful Now Foods effervescent tabs. Um, this one is mixed berry. I really like this flavor. Um, it's very palatable. Pop it in your water, take a big swig. Hydrate, 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 hydrate. And get energized. That's the coolest thing, right? Energy, woo woo. Um, I've got lots of it because I effer hydrate <laughs> and I drink coffee. Hi, Ruby. <laughs> um, okay, my friends. It is that time, and we don't have much of it because it's a 20-minute bodyweight boot camp workout. So let's get right to it. Pop your energy, your effervescent tabs from now foods, and let's go. Um, you don't need anything. Let's go, let's go. Hi, Nick. Okay, we're going to start in a squat, a Moasana squat, just to mobilize our hips and get everything nice and loosey-goosey. If that looks like this for you, you drop your booty low, get your knees kind of open wide, this is great. I'm going to actually move these effervescent tabs out of my hands so that I can move with you guys. All right, you can drop your booty low, bend your knees. Feet can be nice and wide. You can be here, or you can sink even lower if that's available in your hips. Don't force anything. This isn't a contest. This is just to feel out your hips and start to mobilize. We're not going to be sort of here in these nice resting shapes for that long. So enjoy them for what they are. Maybe move back and forth a little bit. Maybe find a little stillness. And then as you feel ready, take your left hand down, right arm to the sky, or just open up for a moment. Feel a nice stretch across your chest. Feel a little loosey goosey in the little spine. One more breath. Bring your hands back to your center and switch sides. Other arm comes down next to your shin and the other arm reaches to the sky. Probably your left hand is reaching to the sky. Take a big breath in. Bring your hands back to your center. We're going to meet in tabletop pose, all fours. So go ahead and press your hands down into the mat. Wrists are under your shoulders. Hips are over your knees. I'm pretty sure you guys have done a tabletop before, but if not, that's what it is. Wrap your upper arms in so you're feeling really strong and stable already. And then start to drop your belly down towards the mat or the floor and lift your heart towards the sky. Find a cow shape. And then bring your chin towards your chest, arch your spine for cat. Then take three or so more of those, just using your breath, inhale into the cow. Finding a little space in the spine. Exhale into the cat. Just warming the body, mobilizing. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a, a preview of where we're going. We're going to work our upper body first. We're going to pretty much move through some fun upper body movements, and then we're going to get into the lower body and combine some of the upper body. So that's where we're going. If you get a little shaky, there's some burning happening. If you need to modify at any point, like lower the knees for push-ups, you can do that. That's the beauty of this workout. Okay, find tabletop when you're ready. We're going to tuck our toes, and then I want you to, from here, you can stay with the toes tucked. I'm going to give you two options. You're going to bend your elbows as far as your body will allow you to go this morning, bringing your chest down towards the mat, and then you're going to press yourself up and bring your hips towards your heels, untuck your toes, child pose. Now you're going to roll back to your table. You can either tuck your toes or maybe you lift your heels towards your seat 
and find that little push-up shape and move back to child pose. That's where we're going. Keep moving through this. Give me five more if you can. Finding that table shape to a push-up and back to child's. It doesn't have to be the lowest push-up you've ever done. You can modify as much as you need, but just start to find some movement here. I think this is number three. We'll go with that. And we've got two more. Like I said, we're going to start to move into the upper body. So maybe you're starting to feel the arms and the shoulders and the core. Last one. Finish out your round. And meet me at the table. Oh, okay. Not so bad. We're going to tuck our toes from here. All right. We're still in table. We're going to take our knees and cover them above the mat like two inches. Your knees are covering. Very nice. And then you're going to walk your toes back in little tiny footsteps till you're in a high plank. And if you'd like, maybe you take a push-up. And then walk your toes back in so that your knees are underneath your hips. That's the movement. Little steps back to your plank. Pause and hold or take a push-up. Bring your feet back underneath, or your knees rather, back under your hips. And then we'll walk it back. Your choice if you add that push-up. This is the movement. Keep walking in and out. Find a cover table to plank. That's all it is. The push-up is entirely up to you. It's your business, your workout. Find the speed, the pace that you're going and stay with it. I'll tell you when we're close to done. I'll tell you where to meet me. Your job is just to keep moving. Woo, keep that core engaged. You've got this. We're here for another five. Just keep moving. Don't worry about the count for four. Woo! Shoulders are burning. Core is burning. Three. Two. Last one. Way to go. Find your way to plank pose. Big breath in. Downward facing dog. Lift your hips to the sky. <sighs> Maybe pedal your feet out a little bit. Find some space here. Hopefully this feels good. Take another full breath in. Add a breath out. On your inhale, come back to high plank. Remember, we're working the upper body. It's happening right here. Your choice. Maybe lower the knees. Take a little push up. Press back up to your plank. Downward facing dog. Four more times. Roll forward plank. Lower the knees or not. Push up. Lift. Down dog. That's the move. Here we go. Three. Stay with it. You've got this. We're strong. Last two. Woohoo! Lots of push ups. Last one. My favorite thing because it keeps us strong, keeps us feeling capable. Find your downward facing dog. Really nice. From here, lower your right forearm to the mat and then your left. Find all of them. Okay. I'm going to show you this first move because I want you to try to do this with me. We are going to either lift one forearm at a time and press ourselves forward into plank. We are going to stay or you add a push up. Then I want you to take your right hand and bring it to the uh, low part of your spine and pull three, two, one. We'll lower the hand and take our hips to the sky downward facing. Then you'll lower left and then right forearm. Then maybe both forearms or one at a time lift as you float forward to plank. Push up, other arm to the back. And we hold three, two, one. That's the move. Down and face the dog. Here we go. First side is your right side. If you like, one forearm at a time or maybe you lower both. Float forward to plank. Maybe they both lift or one at a time. Right hand to your low spine. Hold three, two, one, lower the hand, downward facing. If that one hand plank is too much, let it go. Lower left or both forearms to the mat at the same time. Roll forward to plank, lifting one at a time with both forearms. Left hand to your low spine if you're going for it. Either way, you're holding plank for three, two, one. Lower left hand, downward facing. Same thing, right side, lower right, left, or both. Float forward to plank, lifting right, left, or both. Right hand to low spine for three, two, one. Lower right, lift high with your hips, downward facing. Left forearm or both, float forward, plank. Left hand 
to your low spine. We hold three, two, one. Last round, each side, downward facing. Lower the forearms however you can. Lift up to your plank. Find that right hand, bring it to your low spine if that's available for three, two, one. Lower, downward facing. Lower left or both at the same time. Come back into your plank. Left hand to low spine. Hold three. Hold two. One. Lower left, downward facing dog. And then just gently walk your hands towards your feet. Find a little forward fold. Soften your knees, bring your belly towards your thighs, and just let your upper body hang. Maybe shake it out for a moment. We'll roll up our spine one vertebrae at a time, all the way up to the top. Oh, good morning. Our shoulders are alive. Our bodies are alive. Whew, feeling good. All right, we're getting right into it. We have got some squats. So you've done squats before. I want you to drop your butt low. We're gonna take it low, and then you're gonna lift and press. That's a squat. The feet are about hips width. If you would like, you are welcome to explode at the top. It's 20 seconds. Drop it low and lift. Add a jump if you want. Totally up to you. After the squats, we're going to take reverse lunges. We're going to step one foot back. I'm going to start with my right foot back, and you're going to bring the right knee in towards your chest. A reverse lunge to a knee raise. Now, if you feel it, you can take a little jump. That jump when you draw the knee in. We're going to do eight to each leg. We'll switch sides. Then we're going to come to the floor for push-ups. You can take these tabletop push-ups we've taken. Regular plank push-ups, it's five. Okay? Your variation of choice. And then we back and climb. I should have stayed down. 20 seconds here. Knees into your chest as slow or as fast as you would like to go. It's your workout. Let's do this. Squat. Get up on your feet. Sink low. I've got my clock ready. It's 20 seconds. You can add a jump in three, in two, in one. Let's go. Get low. Explode if you want. Take this workout for what you need today. I can't see you. You can do what you need. Woo! We're feeling energy. We've got this. Stay with me for five, four, three, two, one. Shake out the legs for a moment. One foot back, reverse lunge. Bring me into chest. You decide. Are you adding a jump? Woo! We've got five. We switch sides in four, three, two, one. Switch it out. Other foot back. Woo! Stay with it. You've got this for five. Four, maybe a little higher, three, oh, that's harder, two, and one. Push-ups, take it down to the floor. You can lower the knees, you can take the tabletop variation. Here we go, it's five of your best push-ups. Give me what you've got. Three, four, five. Finish out your five. Mountain climbers, we're going in three. In two, one, knees into your chest. Maybe get a little running. Woohoo! All right, everybody, a little faster. Come on, you've got this. Stay with it for five, four, three, two, one. Come on up. Nice work. Woo, I know you guys are working. You guys, we're already over halfway into the workout. Shake it out. All right, we've got squats again. Here's your option. Get low, maybe explode, maybe have a little twist. Get low, explode, twist. Okay? Or squat, lift, step, step, squat, lift, step, step, switch sides. Okay? Those are options. They're all good options. Then we're going to take reverse lunge with knee raise. Option to jump. Maybe if you didn't jump last time, try it this time. See what happens. Okay, we're going to do five each leg. A little less time. We're going to come back and revisit those push-ups. 
So we're going to add on a little bit. And then we've got a mountain climber. Okay, let's do this. No time to spare. Squats. Don't overthink it. Squat, explode if you want. Little twist. Or step, step into the twist squat on each side. Ready, in three. If it doesn't work, if you're like, I don't know what she's talking about, just do squats. In two, in one, let's go. Explode if you want, twist, twist. Whoop, <laughs> I got confused. Not the fun of it. We just keep moving. It's okay to get confused. We're having fun, it's Friday. We're working hard. Feel our butt burning. We're all burning it out. You guys love this, right? We love this. We've got five. I don't know, maybe we do for four. Woo! We're getting strong. Last three. Two. One. We have nice recovery products from now for when we're nice and sore later. Reverse lunges with knee raise, take it back. Knee to chest, maybe you hop. Maybe you get a little higher. Last three. Two. One, lift a little higher. Nice, switch sides, here we go. No time to spare. Stay with it. Make the most out of your 20. Last one. Woo, shake it out. Get on down for these push-ups. Here we go. Now, what we're gonna do, your best five on the knees, tabletop style or full plank. And then you're gonna meet me in downward dog. Let's go. Find your best five right here. Make them strong. You are strong, you have this. Woo! And maybe you're finding your way to downward facing. <sighs> Lift your hips to the sky. Now from here, I want you to gaze forward towards your fingertips, and then I want you to lower your forearms so that they almost touch the mat. And then press them back up. And then lower them down. And press them back up. We're gonna go for five. Little pulses with the forearms for, whoo, for three. Hello, shoulders, for two. If your shoulders are burning, congratulations, last one. We bring the forearm all the way to the mat. It's open. Now, gaze towards your thumbs, okay? And I want you to bring your nose towards your thumbs and then bring it back through for your elbows. Keep it going, that's all it is. Nose towards thumbs. That's all it is and it's hard. Woo, feel that burn in the core of the shoulders. Stay with it. Keep moving here, you guys. You've got this. We're gonna stay for another five. It's like 10 total. Four, three, two, one. Come back into your dolphin neutral and then pick up your forearm one or both at a time. Okay, from here, lower your forearms, dolphin. Cup forward, plank, remember these? Maybe take a push up. Rise and lift up dog. Lower forearms. Come forward into plank, maybe it's fluid. Take a push up. Lift, rise dog. Last one, lower forearms. Come to plank. Lower down. Rise, woo, downward facing dog. We're coming straight into mountain climbers, coming to your plank. I want to see your feet fly. Like you just took an effervescent tab and you are feeling extra freaking bubbly. Let's go in three, two, one. Fastest feet you have. Jog it out right here. I'm getting really shouty because it's Friday and I can. Woo, let's do this. Ten more seconds. Faster even still. Five, four, three, two, one. Take it down. Hello. Woo, we are alive. We are almost to 20 minutes. That is incredible, you guys. We did a lot. You guys did like three full rounds, upper body, lower body, um, very long rounds of a workout. And you're crushing it. Don't forget to hydrate. We're gonna do a little stretch. Hello, Heather. I'm back to wooing. As, as you know, I love my wooing. Okay, don't forget, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Thank you, Now Foods, for keeping us healed. I'm gonna bring it down. My voice, my breath, my 
and your bodies. Come on down if you're not already on your seat. And find a butterfly shape. If butterfly is feeling very comfortable for you, you can find an easy seated uh, posture with the ankles crossing, right? All right, my butterflies, bring your knees out wide. Ruby reminds me that sometimes I forget I'm not reading children's books when I am teaching classes. When I start teaching or talking to you guys like toddlers, because I have one, so I apologize. Find your butterflies, find your wings instead of fall. But here we are, it's Friday morning. Now if you would like to stretch out your low back, bring your chin to your chest and aim the top of your head toward your feet. If you feel like your inner thighs need extra love this morning, get your spine long and fold the flat spine over your feet. It doesn't have to be this far. You can take hands down on books or blocks or whatever you have or nothing and stay more upright. But it's a different stretch. You can round the spine from your low back or keep it long to get more into the inner groin. You choose. I know you guys have done this before. <sighs> Let your breath settle. Two more inhales. The heart rate is pumping. You guys, I got to like 142. That's nice for a 20 minute workout. That's big. And I know I'm yelling and shouting, so that helps. Take one more breath. All right, rise up if you fold it. And if not, good for you. Take your right leg out to the side, bring your left foot in towards your right thigh. If you're on your other foot, don't stress. We're gonna get there. Take the right forearm inside of your thigh. If you need a little block of support under there, you don't have it, you can also bring it to the thigh. Take your left hand to your left hip, and I want you to actively press the left hip open. Oh, low side body. And then take left hand to left shoulder, same thing. Like you're the tin man, and you're giving it like, you know, a little bit of whatever he does, oil, grease, I don't know. Flex your right toes, feel that leg through your left rib cage, and then extend your left arm. If you have that space, extend it. So we're not looking to necessarily touch our right extended foot. We are looking for that leg through the left side of our body. Take another breath in here. Bring yourself back up through center. We're going to keep our right leg as it is. Reach your arms up to the sky. Turn your hips so that they face your right leg. And oh, hello, nice downstream stretch. Hinge forward, grabbing onto the top of the thigh or somewhere below the knee, the shin, the ankle, or the foot. See if you can keep your spine long and just release a little bit here. <sighs> Let the breath go. <sighs> One more deep inhale. Let it go out through the mouth, exhale. <sighs> Rise up through center. Other side. If you were doing a different side than me, switch your feet. Put your right foot into your left thigh. Same thing, left arm can come down inside or on top of something or even the thigh. And then I want you to tip the grease up the right hip. Just gently, energetically let it come open. Take your hand with your ribs to your right shoulder and just use your right hand for the self-adjustment. Whoa, it's so open. And then maybe you'll extend the right arm up and over. And if that wasn't your reaction, whoa, I'm so open, then maybe open it a little bit more. <laughs> or keep your hand there as that self-adjustment. It's nice and helpful. Looking for length in our ribcage. Looking for our other ribs, the ones closest to our extended leg, to lift away, to get more sensation. All right, come through center. Reach both arms to the sky, turn your hips to face the extended leg, and then release over it. You can grab to the top of your thigh, but knee to the knee somewhere, shift, equal foot, and extend your spine long. This isn't a flexibility contest. It is a sensation contest. Who can find the most sensation? Doesn't matter how far you are in your fold. It matters how much you feel. It's not about what it looks like. Ah. Take another deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Rise back up through center. Woohoo! Bring your feet together. Bring your hands together. This is a really complicated motion. Start too slow. Clap your hands. And then get a little faster. Have coworkers, neighbors, kids, whatever, um, apartment people. 
Uh, they probably were like, what are they doing over there? And they felt jealous because you just slow clapped your way into Wu. Um, again, thank you, Now Foods. We love you. Um, you keep us hydrated and fueled and healthy. Um, we love doing these workouts for you. Thanks for this 20 minute Friday sweat sesh. Um, I'm feeling it. I hope you guys are feeling it also. Feel free to tell me if you, you hate me, you love me, um, or if you didn't like some of it. I'm, I'm totally fine about that. Uh, yes, Amanda, me too. My arms, my shoulders. Oh my word. Hi, Elise. I love you too. Fridays. Fridays are great. Fridays, we challenge ourselves. Share your stats. I always love to see what happened during these 20 minutes because everybody's going to be all over the place. Thank you guys so much. Um, you also, oh my gosh, ah, you guys have a chance to win a hundred dollar gift card from Now Foods. There will be more than one winner. So make sure you post some post-workout stats, selfies, time lapses, whatever it is that you have, tag at Now Foods Official at Flex and Flow to be entered to win. And we'll be so excited to see who gets the bounty from now. They've got the best stuff. Um, they've got snacks and hydration and energy. Um, yeah, you can get fueled up. So thank you guys for participating. Please.